We're here in southern Italy. This is the Puglia region, and this is my friend's family's farm. And that's them right here. So that's Antonio and Michele and his father here. So this is what they do. They plant tomatoes and they grow it every single year. The one issue that happened this year was it didn't rain in over two months. So everything is completely dried. Some of the tomatoes are sick, so they're not getting the same yield that they usually get every single year. And this hasn't happened since like 20 years ago. So uh, this year, they're probably not gonna get as many tomato sauce jars as they normally would. Uh, but we're gonna go and talk to them a little bit and uh, see what they have to say. Okay, so this is Antonio and this is his family's farm. Uh, so how many years have you been working here? Più o meno una ventina d'anni. Quando hanno iniziato i miei nonni, ora proseguo io con mio padre. Okay. And then what's what's the problem this year on the farm? Quest'anno il problema è stata la siccità, perché non ha piovuto come piove di solito. Sono due mesi che non piove, c'è un problema di acqua per tutti, soprattutto per i pomodori. So there's like the tomatoes have like like sickness, right? Like yes. it's not too good sì. like No, questi qua non vanno bene, vanno scartati, presi e buttati via. Non buono. No good. So it has uh, the brown spots, no. But Questo è buono. All red. Tutto rosso. Non ha problemi. So how about this? No good? No good. Può andare. Quando non è comprato anche questo può andare, comunque sia. Per la salsa alla fine. Se lo devi vendere no, però per la salsa It's good. va bene, sì. Okay. Per la salsa se devi fare tu la salsa alla fine. Yeah, it's nice. Good. Stiamo ponendo questo vascone dove d'inverno quando piove confluisce tutta l'acqua. Adesso si pulisce perché è un po' sporco, per fare l'acqua pulita, per innaffiare tutto quello che può servire in ambito. Allora abbiamo fatto un lavoro perché nei terreni l'acqua a volte si blocca e rimane bloccata nel terreno. Abbiamo fatto dei canali coperti così l'acqua confluisce in questi canali e depulisce direttamente qui down. dentro. All right, so now we uh, picked a lot of tomatoes, I think uh, 20 kilos? Più o meno, sì, più o meno siamo sui 20 kg questa cassetta. And with this you can make tomato sauce or you can sell this, right? Questa la vendo. Questa la vendo più o meno, diciamo sui 10 euro che è il prezzo che va adesso. So now we're on the other side of the world in Colts Neck, New Jersey on Giuliano Farms and I'm here with my dad. This is Pasquale and he's been continuing his tradition of going out, picking his own tomatoes, making his own homemade tomato sauce and I'm going to help you pick some tomatoes and then uh, we're going to go and make some homemade tomato sauce. Yeah, but you want to help me pick up a tomato, but make sure to pick up a good tomato, not the rat. I don't want to rock the I'll try my best. Okay, thank right, let's you. Let's do it. So it's pretty crazy because I was just at my friend's farm in Italy, in Orsada, your city, and it hasn't rained in over three months. So when you were younger in Italy, did it ever not rain? Yes, a lot of time, yes. No rain and you lose everything. One time the ground started to open up, everybody said, okay, this year we don't make nothing, no money. It's why when you got a lot of tomato, yeah, the farm, you got to sell the tomato. But if you want to make a sauce, make it today. No way for tomorrow. When you got a good tomato, make extra sauce. Now, Paz, so this isn't something new for you. When you were younger, you used to do this in Italy, and you're trying to bring that tradition and continue it while you're here in America, right? This is the same way I was doing Italy. My father and my mother teach to do like this, and I want to continue to do like this. So we've got the fire going, we just got it started, and now it's time to put this pot right on there. All right, ooh. And this is gonna cook for how long again? One hour, 45 minutes like this. Now this is where the, uh, the hard work comes in, because you need a lot of patience, and you need to go through all that, and then there's a whole nother batch, so. Okay, let's go. Here it goes, it's gonna get loud. All right, so this is pretty much the whole process. He's putting it through the food processor, making that sauce, and now this has to boil and cook for four hours, then he's gonna jar it all up. Uh, but Pa, I don't have four hours to wait until this is done. I'm gonna go to Italy and try my friend's homemade tomato sauce because it's done already. Yeah? Okay, I know. <laughs> you go in Italy with a tomato sauce in Italy, I know. You can, when you make a pasta, you go like this. 
so the good. The sauce, it's so good. All right, see, I'm going to Italy now. Thank you. Okay, so now Leo's making some food with that fresh tomatoes that we were picking. He actually made this sauce last year, and you can see these are the tomatoes that they got this year that they didn't make yet. But what are you making today? Questa è una buonissima pasta alla matriciana. È la ricetta originale della matrice, guanciale. Sono guanciale, olio e salsa di pomodoro. Un po' di basilico, un po' di peperoncino piccante, un po' di pepe, black pepper e basta. Qui bucati. Do you make sauce here? Yeah, yeah. In here? Sì, qui facciamo tutto, sala facciamo tutto noi, quasi tutto. Yeah, that's the thing, like here in Italy, this small city, everybody does everything for themselves, like they don't go più, to the store. È più una cosa del sud Italia. Sud Italia. Però. Piccoli centri però, paesi piccoli, le città no. Te lo mangio un po' di più di piatto che questo qua. Eh, mangio un po' di più. Ma se ne mangi giusto di cena. Grazie a te. Grazie. Buon appetito. Cheers. I think it's really awesome that the younger generation are continuing old style traditions. It just gives you a grasp on how important it is for them to cultivate their own food and not have to rely on supermarkets, even though so much work is involved. As far back as I can remember, my dad has always made tomato sauce every single year, just as he did when he lived in Italy, and I'm really happy that we can always expect a delicious meal made with his sauce. And now we're here, enjoying a delicious meal with friends. Even with the current drought, we get to experience this whole tradition unfold and enjoy our time together with a bowl of pasta and homemade wine.